Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another amateur hour video. This one is going to be a little different than the other ones um, because it's going to be kind of like a four in one, almost like, yeah, I'm testing out to see if I can make this happen, but also kind of showing you guys how versatile some of the pieces in your own collection can be. So about, I actually have it in front of me uh, on my computer. Let me check. So... Yeah, about a month ago, a little bit over a month ago, um, I was shopping heavily on Urban Decay uh, on their website and I got sent an email that is for must-have lip looks. And I thought, that's kind of interesting and it really intrigued me. And after I opened up the email, wow, my hair is doing weird things right now. Anyway, after I opened up the email, I realized that it was saying, I will literally read this here for you. It says, our artist in residence, Amanda Rodriguez, reveals four different ways to apply your favorite Vice lip shade. So it's basically showing you how with one lipstick, you can achieve four different lip looks um, depending on what you're going for. In the particular email, she uses the shade Blackmail. So again, as per usual... I am going to use the shade that they recommend using so that I can see how close my results are to these ones. I will, you know, be putting up pictures uh, to show you guys like what I get versus what they really look like. We'll kind of see how that works. Um, but yeah, so first up, I will tell you guys the four products that I am going to be using to do this. But like I said, the whole point of this is so it's supposed to be very versatile so that you can um, sort of achieve this with the stuff that you already have. But because I wanted to see how close I could get to their um, kind of representation of it, I bought the shades that they recommended. So the first thing that I got is um, the Vice lipstick in the shade Blackmail. It is a comfort matte. It is a really, really dark, like burgundy kind of color. Definitely a lot darker uh, than I would normally go for, but you know what? We're coming into the fall months, even though as I look outside, it looks pretty much like summer. There's just leaves on the ground. Uh, we're coming into the fall months. I'm trying to get a little bit more daring with some of my lip colors. Uh, this is not one I would usually wear, but depending on how this goes today, we will see. So the next thing that I picked up was the matching lip liner. Again, this is a 24-7 glide on lip pencil in the shade Blackmail. It uh, is pretty much exactly the same. You'll see I haven't used any of this stuff yet because um, I've been waiting to film this video. I also picked up the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in Blackmail. It's this really, really, again, it's that same shade, so it is super dark. Uh, it almost looks more purple on the wand here. So we've got that. And the last thing that I picked up, and I'm sure you could achieve this with any lip brush or any like angled brush, but I got the one that they recommended. I got the Urban Decay L301 angled lip brush. Um, this is the first Urban Decay brush I've ever had, and I actually really like it. It's kind of cool. It almost looks like coiled wire like I know it's not but that's almost like what it looks like and kind of what it feels like at the top it has a much much longer I can't think of what this is called um if somebody can think of the name put it down below just remind me but like this is much longer than normal brushes normal brushes it ends like here just enough to attach the actual brush to the handle but this one is really cool I really like that so the four looks that we're going to be trying to, to to do today I'm going to tell you what they are and then we're going to try and do them. So the first one is straight up. So you just take the Vice liquid, or not the liquid lipstick, excuse me, the Vice lipstick, and you just put that on on its own. It says just one swipe and you're good to go. The next one is called the Perfectionist. So you would take the lip brush and the lipstick, use the brush to um, fill in. It gives you precision lines and a flawless laydown of color. So we'll try that. The third one is, it's called Make Out. So you pretty much take that Vice lipstick and you put it on using your fingers. It's a finger application. It says dab across the lips for an effortless undone appearance like it's, it's like it never happened. We're probably going to do that one first. I feel like I should start there and work my way up um, just because it'll be easier to get that off. And then if I leave the liquid lipstick on at the end, it won't matter too much as long as I can come to terms with the color um and the last one's called the all-nighter so with that one you take that pencil 
and not this one. Why do I keep holding that up? The liquid lipstick. It says prime with 24 seven, then apply vice lipstick. Uh, this coveted lip look will outlast even the after party. So let's get straight into it. So the first one we're going to try is the makeout. So it basically says dab across the lips for an effortless undone appearance. I'm going to do most of this into my camera just so you guys can see it. But as per usual, I do have like a little mirror here just in case that I find that too difficult. Um, but this foam thing, I don't know how you guys feel about it. I think it's been working way, way better for me. I'm getting way better picture, uh, better sound, just better quality in general. I'm really, really liking filming on my phone. <clears throat> so let's take that color and I'm just going to get... Look how dark that is. So the one downside that I could see about this, sorry, I am just actually going to look really quickly. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. I was going to say, I feel like you would go way outside your lip line with this. <laughs> okay so that's it um actually you know what I really don't like it when like and I'm sure you guys are the same when like the if you don't put it enough almost inside your lip like inside your mouth you kind of have like a point where your lipstick stops and it just looks like the normal color of your lip so that is just the finger application. Um, I mean, the one in the picture is a lot neater than mine, but the color is almost exactly on. Obviously, that's going to change because my lips are probably a lot less pigmented or more pigmented than the model in the photo, but I don't know. I kind of like it. It is really messy, though. Um, I also do... Like, I feel like... <laughs> Is this weird? I feel like it almost looks like I just ate like a great popsicle. I'm not sure that this is something that I would do, but it does look a lot like theirs, just maybe a lot less clean. And I do like um, a more defined shape to my lip, to be 100% honest. Um, just kind of the way I am with it. I do normally to overdraw my upper lip with a lip liner. So if I were to do this, this is probably not the one of the four that I would choose. So for the next one, because I'm going to have to do this and then take it off and then reapply it. Uh, so for the next one, let's just do this straight up because I really do want to see exactly what color this gives me on my lips. So that is just the Vice lipstick alone. So let's just see. Okay, so that is the straight up. Um, obviously, we all know how to apply lipstick that way. That's nothing special. It's not really a amateur hour thing. I'm literally just putting lipstick on. But you guys, if you can remember what the other one just looked like, how much darker is this? So like that just shows like the different kind of shade variation you can really get with just one, depending on how much pressure, what you use to apply it, whatever. Um, I don't know how I feel about this color on me it is very vampy um <laughs> it's not really like it doesn't look bad I can see it I'm looking at it and I'm like you know what I don't hate it but it is very outside of my comfort zone for what I would normally do what I would normally rock on it every day um I could see this being really really cool for like I say for like a Halloween party, I don't go out for Halloween. I would say for like going out on a night on the town, I don't really go out. I don't have that kind of time on my hands because I work in a bar, but you know what? I don't hate this as much as I actually thought I might. So that is the straight up. I'm actually just going to take some makeup wipes and try and get this off so that um, I can then, I have to do the brush application and then the uh, liquid lipstick. So give me two seconds and I'm going to take this off. Okay, so it is more or less off. Um, my lips are a bit darker than they were before just because I've just dragged away at it. I also do think it stained my lips just a little bit, but because I started from like the lowest application we're going up, I don't think it really matters that much. I'm just going to paint over it. So the next one we're going to do is the Perfectionist, which is the lipstick using the uh, angled brush. If I could 
find what I actually did with the lipstick. That's good. Give me two seconds. I got to know. Oh, no, I don't have to hunt it down. I put it somewhere for safekeeping and then I forgot where I put it. So for this one, it wants us to use that lip brush and put it on that way and use that to create better lines. Um, this is more up my alley if I ever had the time to do it this way. I find that doing it this way too, you get almost more of like, <clears throat> excuse me, a deep wine color rather than that really, really dark color. Well, at least now we found a way I would wear this because this color is definitely up my alley. Gonna check the mirror real quick. And this one is also super buildable, so I could see you also getting like a wide range of colors just using the brush um, from like one coat to like however many if you didn't want, sorry, quite that stark color that you get uh, by laying it on just on its own. So that is what it looks like with a brush. I didn't do the most amazing job, if I'm honest, getting all of the lines. And I think that's also because I know I'm about to take this off. Um, but so far of the three, this is definitely my favorite application. It is not quite as messy as doing it with my finger. And honestly, I feel like also if I were on my own, just like doing this in a mirror rather than doing it to you guys, it would, I would probably be a lot more careful with the lines. Um, so I feel like of the three so far, this one, definitely my favorite. And I can imagine it'll be my favorite also once I put the last one on, because that one's going to be super dark and heavy as well. But this one, definitely my favorite. I love how buildable the shade is also. Uh, I didn't think I would love it as much as I do, and I really, really like this. So number three, and now I'm going to take this off because we're going to start from the bottom again. Alrighty, so the last one that we're going to do is going to be the All Nighter, and that uses the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. Now, the only thing that it doesn't say is okay it must mean prime entirely because this is prime with the 24 7 so sometimes i never know really whether that means just like line your lips or really prime them so we're gonna prime them we're gonna put this all over the lip and then top it with that liquid lipstick and just sort of see how it goes This is really hard to do into a camera. Do you see that? Should that be the new look? I'll just line my lips and leave them. Wow, they're uneven. Oh, well. All for the sake of science, right? And if I'm honest, it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon here or something. Yeah, not even. It's not even 3 o'clock right now. The chance that I'm going to really go out of the house in the next couple hours with this dark of a color is pretty slim to none just for me personally. Um, probably after I film this, I am going to wipe this shade off. So I'm not that concerned with how not perfect my application is. Okay. By the way, these lip pencils are fantastic. I never thought I would find one that I loved as much as my MAC Pro Longwear, but these are amazing. If you haven't tried them out like I've tried them before, uh, definitely give them a shot.
super messy, but uh, whatever. It does the trick, right? That's the problem, I think, also that I have with these dark, dark, vampy colors is that they're so dark. They're so unforgiving. Like, if I were to go outside my lip line with, like, a lighter color, no big deal. You can kind of wipe it away and touch up. But if I do that with this, I screw up all the makeup around my mouth. I've already screwed it up quite a bit. Uh, might have to do touch-ups a little bit later, but we'll see. So now we're going to go in with that um, liquid lip. And uh, this is going to get dark. Let's just go right over top. I don't know if it's because I've already screwed around with my lips so much and put so much on and off. Um, this color is going on a little patchy, a little streaky, but I do find that darker colors do tend to do that because um, they're so much darker than your natural lip color that sometimes when your lip color shines through, you just notice it a little bit more. Um, again, I'm actually not hating this color and it actually looks pretty good with the eye look that I have going today uh, which I didn't plan for but good for me for preparing um so that is the fourth one the all-nighter honestly I would say I will put all the pictures up and stuff so you guys can kind of see and get your own opinions but I would say I was pretty successful at this one it's probably the most successful amateur hour I've done but it is kind of like a different way um maybe I will try like a redo where I pick maybe another color of theirs that has the same shade in the liquid lip and all of that. I've got a few in like the pencil and the lipstick, but I don't have the matching uh, liquid. So maybe I will get that and we'll see how those kind of works. If it works with lighter shades, if it works with like a bright red, um, a really nice nude, anything like that. But honestly, I really like this. And as much as my favorite one was the brush one, I think this is actually my second favorite. I do prefer, for whatever reason, the color of the liquid to the regular one. I don't know if anybody else feels the same. Maybe it's because I lined underneath. I don't really know the reason. Maybe it is because it is going on a little bit more opaque, so it's not super, super dark. Or not opaque. Um, patchy. Opaque would mean full color. Uh, it's going on less opaque than the normal one is. Maybe that's why I like it more. I'm not too sure. So, uh... If you guys have any products at home that are like this, that you've got like a lip liner and a lipstick and all this thing, definitely try this out. See how versatile you can get with some of your shades. I know I have a ridiculous amount of makeup, um, but you know what? Like, it just shows like how versatile even a small collection can be. Even if you don't have the money to be able to afford tons and tons of makeup or you don't have quite the shopping problem that I have and don't want to spend all your money on makeup. See what you can get away with the, with the products that you have before you go out and purchase all this new stuff because you might be surprised at some of the new looks you can create with old things. So that's it for this video. If you guys like these amateur hour videos and you want to keep seeing them, then give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments. Uh, I love hearing from you guys. If you want to see me do this with another color, let me know also. Um, if you guys have any other ideas for these videos that you want to see, definitely let me know that as well. I've just gotten a whole bunch of new palettes and they all tend to come with like those little, like little pamphlets that show what kind of looks you can get. So if you guys want to see me try and create recreate a look out of one of those palettes um, for my eyes, let me know. I would be happy to do so. Um, if you guys could subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. I have a lot of fun here doing a lot of different stuff with makeup, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!